The graph shows displacement against position for the particles in a sound wave at a particular instant. Which of the following could show the positions of a pair of particles moving in the same direction at that instant? So, looking at the particles that we have here, there are two pairs of particles that are in phase with each other. V and Y is one of them, one pair. So, point V is in phase with point Y, and we know that because they are two equilibrium points which are just after crests. So they're both 90 degrees after a crest, therefore must be in phase. And W and Z are two other points that are also in phase with one another. Those are two troughs. They're at the same stage of their oscillation as are V and Y. So these could be two pairs of points that are moving in the same direction at that instant. But it can't be both of them. We have both options available. We have V and Y, and we also have W and Z. So only one of them is correct. It's not going to be W and Z, and the reason it can't be W and Z is because those two particles are not actually moving at that particular instant. They are in phase, but they're not moving. And I can illustrate that with a little diagram. Let's say this represents an equilibrium position for a particle which is moving back and forth about that line. So that could represent, for instance, uh, a particle which has a wave, a longitudinal wave, a longitudinal sound wave, passing through it, traveling towards the right, and that causes this particle to oscillate back and forth like this as the wave travels through it. So when the particle reaches maximum positive displacement, it pauses for a split second before it comes back to equilibrium, passes through that, reaches max negative displacement, again pauses for a split second before it comes back. So at all of these points, when the distance from equilibrium is a maximum, the particle will be stationary for a split second. So therefore it can't be W and Z simply because the particles are not moving at that point. It would then be V and Y. The answer would be V and Y, so B. Those are two points that are in phase with one another, and those two particles at those two points are actually moving.